My name is Lisa. I'm a working housewife living with my husband, Florian. Although I work hard thinking about our future, on our days off, we like to spend our time relaxing together. On this day as well. Tada! Sorry to keep you waiting I made your favorite pasta, Lisa. Wow, it looks delicious. So that's what that smell was. I made it while looking up the recipe online, so it took a bit longer than I thought. No worries. Considering it's your first time making it, you did an amazing job. Thank you, Florian. You're welcome. Let's dig in. This is my husband, Florian. While he's not particularly good at household chores, he's a kind soul who occasionally makes meals for us on his days off. Thanks to Florian, we were supposed to be leading a happy married life, or so I thought. Oh, I'm feeling quite hungry. But I'm in the mood for something sweet. Lisa dear, can you go and buy some cake and juice for me right now? Please don't get any cheap cake, okay? Go to the upscale section in the department store's basement, alright? Eh? Oh, okay. I understand. Please be quick, and make sure the juice is 100% fruit juice, okay? Oh? And while you're at it, can you buy an extra cake for me to take home as a souvenir? This lady is my mother-in-law. Lately, she's been coming to our place almost every weekend, leaving me no time to rest. I've been considering talking to Florian about it, hoping we could figure something out. I'm so happy that my mom comes to visit us on our days off. On weekdays, things get hectic, right? But on weekends, we can spend time together without watching the clock. Are you joining us for dinner today too? What would you like to eat? Let me think. Oh, I remember that luxurious sushi we had last time. I'd love to have that again. What about you, Florian? Anything you want to eat? I like anything that my mom likes. Ever since my mother-in-law began visiting frequently, I've discovered that Florian has a severe case of mommy issues. I figured that discussing it with Florian might be futile. I've been tolerating this situation, but I couldn't let our precious days off be consumed like this every time. I decided to talk directly to my mother-in-law, asking her to limit her visits. Oh, Lisa dear, look at this picture. I found it in a catalog the other day, isn't it wonderful? So, what do you think about heading to the department store to shop for it? Um, don't you think you should spend some time with your husband once in a while? Why on earth would I spend time with him? You've been coming over every Saturday and Sunday, maybe he's feeling lonely. Oh, don't worry about that. Dad has a lot of hobbies. He's probably out with his fishing buddies or something. So, Mom should just spend time with me. My indirect communication strategy was quickly thwarted by Florian. Still, I was genuinely struggling with the situation and wondered what to do next. One day, on my day off, I was relaxing at home when... Oh, a call. Who could it be? Ugh. It's my mother-in-law. Hello? Hello, Lisa. It's me. Are you free right now? Yes, I'm here. Is something the matter? You see, darling, I bought a wonderful new house using your savings. What? I saw your bank book. Why didn't you tell me you had 60 million saved up? I mean, most people don't share that sort of information. More importantly, did you use that money? Of course. A daughter-in-law's money is the mother-in-law's money. And the mother-in-law's money is the mother-in-law's money. So, it's essentially mine, right? What kind of absurd logic is that? We bought a barrier-free house suitable for two families. This way, mom doesn't have to make the effort to come over just on the weekends, right? You were there too, Florian? And what do you mean, just on weekends? To me, those are precious days. From now on, we'll live together and be around each other every day. So, Lisa, you'll need to handle the household chores even more than you do now, okay? Wait, what are you talking about? We need to cancel that house purchase right away. Ha! Huh? There's no way we're canceling. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, the ridiculous ones here are you and your mother. And to think, you had such a large sum of money and didn't tell your husband, me. That's just too cruel. Keeping that much money all to yourself. Keeping to myself? Even if you say that. And now that it's out in the open, you're making excuses. Anyway, there's still some money left, so I'll be taking that as well. Bye-bye, darling oh-ho-ho-ho. -ho -ho. After my mother-in-law and Florian sneaked out the bank book and personal seal, they went on to purchase a newly built house without my consent. Once I found out, 
I immediately contacted someone. The next day. Lisa, can you come to the new house right now? I need help. I refuse. It's too troublesome. Please? Something terrible has happened. Is it because you discovered that the bank book you took was under my father-in-law's name? Exactly. Your father-in-law is absolutely furious. What the hell were you thinking? Anyone with a brain wouldn't do something like this. Jeez, Dad, don't be so mad. Please, come over right now. You must. Lisa, please. You have to help us. In reality, the bank book that Florian and mother-in-law had taken was in the name of the father-in-law. When he realized a significant amount of his money had been used without his permission, he was livid. The panic-stricken duo then reached out to me for help. Reluctantly, I decided to head to the new house. What on earth? Why would anyone in their right mind do something like this? Excuse me, just dropping by. Ah, uh, Lisa, thank you for coming despite all this. I'm sorry you had to go through this. Dad, Lisa tricked us. She lied and made us buy this house. Exactly. It's not our fault. Everything is because of her. I'm sorry, Lisa, but both Florian and his mother are claiming this. What's the truth? It's a lie. They decided to use the money from that bank book without telling anyone. Come on. You're just saying that because Dad is mad. Such wild accusations just because he wasn't around. Ugh. Well, let's take a look at the footage from this security camera. What? A security camera? What's this? You two are clearly seen discussing the purchase. Were you two trying to pin the blame on Lisa? Why would there be a camera inside the house? That's weird. That's a breach of privacy. Recently, I noticed some of my belongings kept going missing, so I installed it. If it were a thief, they would have taken Florian's things too, right? What do you mean by? Turns out the thief was you, mother-in-law. I've never touched any of your things. Well, here you go. The proof is in this footage. That's just cleaning. Yes, we were just cleaning. Ha. Huh. Florian, you're clearly seen moving things with her. What's that about? Ah. Uh, well, that's, ah. Uh. In truth, I had installed security cameras because I found it suspicious that my personal items kept disappearing. Unaware of this, Florian and mother-in-law had been rifling through my closet and drawers, taking things with them all of which was clearly captured on video. When father-in-law saw the footage, Florian, mother, what on earth are you two doing? How can you claim this is cleaning? It's clear as day that you're taking Lisa's belongings. That footage is obviously fake. These days, anyone can easily create manipulated videos like this, right? And what would Lisa gain from faking such a video? Isn't that the bag you said Lisa gave you? It's undeniable evidence. I can't quite remember when that was. Even if you can't recall, it's okay. The date and time are clearly recorded as data in the video. No! No matter what Lisa says, this is a fabrication. It can't be real. My mom would never steal. You fool! Your mother has a past record of shoplifting and even got a suspended sentence for it. Heck! This just proves that people don't change easily. Because of that past, father-in-law entrusted me with the bank book. Yet, who would have thought even Florian would conspire with her to take it? Mother-in-law committed theft, and Florian assisted, making them both bona fide thieves. Thief! Never did I imagine I'd have two criminals in my family. I won't forgive this. You better brace yourselves for what's to come. Brace ourselves, huh? It's too bad. You're just not knowledgeable enough. You see, stealing within a family isn't legally punishable. Oh ho ho ho. Exactly. It's an internal family issue. So, by that principle, we're exonerated. That's not accurate. Who the heck are you? And what do you mean it's not accurate? Lisa has the right to charge mother-in-law with theft. If it's Lisa, wait, who are you anyway? Florian and mother-in-law looked surprised by the sudden appearance of an individual. That individual was. This is my childhood friend, Noah. He happens to be a lawyer. A lawyer? What you referred to earlier regarding the family theft exemption only applies to relatives within six degrees of consanguinity or in-laws within three degrees who live together. Six degrees? What? In other words, the rule only applies to spouses and direct family members, 
and those living relatives within the said degrees. Mother-in-law, you fall outside of those mentioned categories. Which means I can, in fact, sue you. Florian, what's going on? You said we were safe because of the family theft exemption. There has to be another way. I'll... I'll definitely protect my mother. That's unlikely. Huh? You won't get off easily either. Did you know that in a civil case, one can claim damages or request the return of stolen items? Ha! Huh? Civil. It wouldn't be fair if only the wrongdoers were protected, would it? What are you implying? He's saying that even father-in-law can retrieve the 60 million yen through a civil lawsuit. Exactly! Florian and mother-in-law, I will claim 30 million yen in damages from each of you. That's why I said earlier that you both better be prepared. 30 million yen. Hold on, calm down, mom. Dad, you know we can't possibly pay that amount. We are husband and wife after all, and you're my father, right? So even if the family theft exemption doesn't apply, we should try to resolve this through discussion, right? Exactly. We're family after all. Laws shouldn't matter between us, right? Mother-in-law, didn't you cause trouble for father-in-law in a similar situation before? Yes, I did. And yet, instead of learning from it, you've repeated the same mistake. Considering this, I think it's entirely justified for father-in-law to turn to the law this time. Florian and mother-in-law seemed to think they were protected by the law simply because they were family. However, even after their initial plan failed, the two of them didn't seem to have learned their lesson. Lisa dear, really? What are you thinking? You are a bride in this family, so even if your dear mother-in-law took something, it shouldn't be a big deal. And as for that security camera, I'm sure it was installed using Florian's salary, right? No. I paid for it with my own salary. Really? But still, you making such a fuss is what got us into this mess. Yeah, making a fuss is so childish. Who was the one calling Lisa in a panic for help? Hey. That was just a momentary lapse. Right? It's just like a little family spat. So let me ask, how would you feel if someone used the money you had saved up without your permission? I'd never forgive them. I'd definitely make them pay it back. Then it's not strange at all for father-in-law to demand repayment, right? Exactly. What you just said is precisely how your husband feels. Even if you say that, what we don't have, we don't have, right? That's why we're saying let's solve this through discussion. It's because discussing it didn't work that we're in this situation. What do you mean? What's yours as the bride is mine as the mother-in-law? What belongs to Lisa is Lisa's, you fools. There's no need to get so mad, right? Yeah. It's not fair on mom. You're in this too. I will also be claiming damages from you both. Mother-in-law. Return everything you stole. We've already verified the evidence on tape so claiming damages is entirely justified. Oh, and if any of Lisa's belongings are damaged or stained, you'll have to compensate for all of it. Compensate? Yes, fully compensate. Got it. Also, Florian. Yes. Don't forget to sign the divorce papers. You too, wife. I'm also going to file for divorce. What? Following my declaration of divorce, father-in-law also confronted mother-in-law with the prospect of divorce. Through the discussion so far, it seemed the two genuinely believed they could resolve things through a simple chat. Whoa, Lisa! Isn't talking about divorce a bit extreme? Exactly. And as for you, dear, considering our age, talking about divorce now is just... Extreme? This is a major issue. Florian, you're just smitten with mother-in-law. You don't truly care about her. That's not true! If you genuinely cared, you would have stopped her from stealing, right? But instead, you teamed up with her. I can't spend my life with someone like that. I feel the same. This isn't the first time she's done something like this. Instead of reflecting on her actions, she's dragging our son into her schemes. We have the testimony from your husband and the evidence Lisa captured on video. Plus, during our conversation, you admitted to using his money. There's no escaping it now. I'll definitely have every penny returned. You're seriously asking for 30 million yen? 30 million each? That's just unreasonable. Who are you to speak after carelessly spending it? It's a good opportunity to learn just how hard it is to earn that amount of money. Come on, don't say things like that. Dear, let's all live together, okay? I'm not living here. 
Do you know how many hours it would take to get to my office from this rural area? How were you planning to get around in a car-centric society without a license? Even the nearest shop is an hour's drive away. Well, um... You were probably planning to have me drive you around. But we're getting divorced, so you won't have anyone to drive you. That's going to be a problem, without Lisa. This problem is the result of your selfish actions. I wonder how many hours it'll take on foot. Who knows? Anyway, you two will have to figure things out. Neither father-in-law nor I have anything to do with this anymore. After the incidents, both Florian and I, as well as my in-laws, ended up divorcing. They had bought a new house, which at a glance seemed quite comfortable due to its newness. Since they thought it was purchased with my savings, they used it without hesitation, believing they were starting their dream life in the countryside. However, reality was not so kind. Without a car, Florian spent hours biking just to shop. Mother-in-law, without the physical strength, stayed home but there were no neighboring houses close by. This meant making friends was hard. Florian ended up quitting his job due to the long commute and accumulated more debt. They thought of selling the house, but its inconvenient location made it unsaleable, and their limited savings soon ran out. This led Florian and mother-in-law to lead a miserable life in a remote area, surrounded by debt and isolation. Fast forward to my life. Oh, father-in-law. Your garden looks fabulous. I have a co-worker at the office who's really into gardening, and they taught me a bunch. Well, this is impressive. Wait, did you make all this food yourself? Yep. Cooking can be challenging, but when I have the time, it's quite enjoyable. It looks as good as anything from a restaurant. I went a bit overboard because I wanted to treat you, Lisa, and you, Noah, today. Thank you so much for the kind gesture. In that case, let's dig in. Since our divorce, I occasionally met up with father-in-law for tea or meals. Perhaps because Noah was always present during our divorce discussions as my attorney, the three of us began gathering together. Every time I saw father-in-law, his cooking skills had improved, and he had also taken up gardening as a hobby. He mentioned that once he retires in a few years, he wants to travel the world solo. It seemed father-in-law had a lot to look forward to. As for me, while I currently don't have specific aspirations, I cherish my unchanging day-to-day -day life. My work is going well, and I've fostered good relationships with my new neighbors. Although I'm back to being single post-divorce, I'm looking forward to enjoying my time at home, whether it's a weekday or a weekend, without any constraints. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.